between y'all or you rather not uh i can say what happened so basically um jazz had came over one day and i this is what I, this is what i think happened i think that may was feeling some type of way because she had came over my house and um jazz was there and before when everybody left that house i feel like it became my house you know what i'm saying like you know having tried skin snow um so when I, when everybody left, I said, uh, <laughs> Did it to myself? no, when I left, I said, uh, when y'all come, you feel me? Like, I don't want no shoes in my house. So when you come to my house, you know, could you take your shoes off? You feel me? When I was meeting Jazz for the first time and her and her friends was coming, you know, I was a little nervous and people already had the persona of cats, brew, cats, this, cats, that. So she came and she didn't, she had her shoes on. May popped up at my house and she was like, oh, woo, woo, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, I see that they got their shoes on. So she grabbed her shoes and was very rude and put her shoes on my carpet. And I'm like, wow, but I didn't say nothing because it is what it is. People do what they do. After that, I was like, it is what it is. Jazz was like, oh, well, if you would have told me to take my shoes off, I would have. I said, yeah, but you know, I'm barely meeting you. This is my first time meeting you. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Like cause problems or be hard about it. You feel me? So that was that. Um, after that, I was seeing her like, hey, let's do content. She wasn't saying pretty much nothing. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, she moving in. I had went over to her house. I was trying to help her unpack. I was trying to be the best person I possibly could be. You feel me? Like the same thing I would do any other day. Like if I was at one, we lived together. She needed help washing her clothes. All right, I help you wash clothes, fold your clothes up, like all of that. Like this is something I normally daily do. So I'm like, she's like, I got this stuff. I don't have to do. Well, I'm like, cool. Let's unpack it. Like I'm gonna help you. Whatever you need, to tell me. I help you. You know what I mean? So I went all of that. I'm thinking nothing's wrong. Then all of a sudden, like I said, I got a big paragraph of you are a bad sister. You didn't get me nothing. You bought my husband. All of this kind of stuff. My initial reaction was damn okay maybe i am maybe maybe i don't see it so i was like you know what i'm gonna work to do better you feel me like i'm gonna work to do better then i sat on it and i was like if i'm a bad person i'm this and i'm that what am i working towards to do like at this point it's toxic and the whole year i was there it was every couple months cat you're this cat you're that okay oh, you're this cat you're that so it's like all of that too you know what i mean so i'm just like you know what i'm just let her be she in her house she with her family she's happy i'm gonna move around I'm not going to talk to her. I'm going to just let it be whatever it is. I never came to social media because it was an ink link in my heart that, you know what? Maybe she's just having a rough patch right now and maybe we'll be cool again. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe we'll be cool again. So I didn't come to social media with it. You feel me? Um, so I just let it be what it is. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what big elaborate story that she told, but from my end, I really don't know what happened. So that's why I didn't come online and be like, yeah, I'm angry. Like, if anything, I was hurt because I felt in my heart, if you felt all of this type of way, why did you move me to Texas? Why did you tell me to come to Texas when I could have stayed where I was where I was at? I was in a low income. Granted, I was having a hard time where I was at, you feel me? Something just happened to my child. You know what I mean? Like it was a lot going on. So it's just like I was ready to get out of that negative space. So I thought going there was gonna be healthy, but it wasn't, which is okay. You live and you learn. But I feel like to come online and bash my character for a dollar just made me look at her a different way. And then to sit online and talk with my baby daddy about my children. This made me look at her a different way and let me know like, I'm never gonna mess with her another day in my life. I told my kids to block her. Yes, I did, and I told her because I, I'm i okay with being alone. I don't have to have a lot of people around me, you feel me? So it's like, that's cool, that's whatever you have it. And then, but even in that time, I met the walkers. And I promise they was probably the biggest blessing that they don't even know in my life. Like the walkers are such amazing women you know what i mean like they're so cool so call my twin you know what i'm saying i call my twin um and i'm like at first i told my twin i was like hey twin can you move out here with me because i'm alone and i'm by myself you know what i mean and then I felt bad because I'm like, now I'm telling my twin to move from, you know, her comfort zone to come out here to Texas, which it would only have been me and her. So I told my twin, you know what, never mind. Just, I'm going to come out there. You know what I'm saying? No, they're not trying to report me. I had a, um, a call. Nah, nah, my baby was calling me. She said, no. She said, not the means is calling me. Nah, don't nobody have my number. Um, so... That's really what happened, y'all. Like I, I can't, there, and and then, and then what's frustrating to me too is, even with me saying that, even with all of that happening, even we, like I said, she wrote this in December. If you guys would go back, if anybody messaged me in December, I still had her information in my uh, automatic message. If you're looking for, if you've been looking for a mentorship, go hit up Maybe. I still always get praised. I'm happy. Maybe got me to where I am. I mean, you feel me? Like, 
a lot of people watched me. You feel me? I had 10,000, but the rest of the people, a good, a majority of the people came because they saw me around May. I've always been grateful. I made the most money in the world living with her. I'm always grateful. But it seems like people want me to have a negative tone and speak negative, but that doesn't do nothing for me. That does something for y'all. It doesn't do nothing for me. But what does do something for me is moving around and letting people go. You don't gotta mess with me. You don't gotta like me. You don't gotta nothing. But don't speak of me. If you don't mess with me, that's fine. Let it be. Don't don't mess with me. That's cool. But why try to bash my character? That's why I don't bash her character because at the end of the day, there's a lot of people that love Maybay. And just because I don't anymore, I'm not going to have a group of people like, hey, let's have a hate train. Hey, let's have a hate train. I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not. That, I don't. A hate train for what? I hope she make the best money. I hope she has the best life. That's truly what I'm saying. That's truly who I am. I don't wish no down on nobody who I don't mess with. If I don't mess with you, I don't mess with you. When I moved to California, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I moved to Cali, I felt relieved. I, I had my people back. You feel me? My twin and my best friend. I held help with my kids. So that's really what happened. She woke up two days later and said she wasn't messing with me, sent me a paragraph of all this stuff. And I said, okay, I'm gonna work on it. And then I sat and I thought about it. And I'm like, what is there to work on if somebody's always telling you you're not enough? You're not a good sister. You don't do enough for me. You don't do nothing. And when I could, I would. I bought her glasses. I thought that, I mean, I bought her, not matching glasses, but I bought me a pair of glasses. I bought her some glasses. I took her out to eat. I Like, I did whatever I thought to show my love, and it wasn't good enough. So if my love is not good enough, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my love, and I'm going to say bye, and I'm going to keep it pushing. And that's all you can do. I'm not about to sit up and, oh, well, she said this, and she said, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm really grown. But I do think very much it was out of line for her and my baby daddy to be sitting on a live talking about my children. And that's the reason why I will never talk to her. And that's the reason why she'll never see my kids. And she could sit up here all day and say, I'm a user. But what did I use you for? And I'm going to always stay true to myself.